day two, my friends, and I couldn't be, just like yesterday, I'm so excited, I'm nervous, I'm excited and I'm nervous, and I am so honored, those of you that attended day one, to listen and understand about body shaming in our culture, because it is an extremely important part of becoming body positive. So it's an extremely important part of becoming body positive, understanding the body shaming in our, ah, I don't think I'm going to be able to share this. Please say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I said this yesterday. I'm not a very good multitasker, so just bear with me here. Let's see here. Uh-oh, that's not working. Okay, I'm not going to be able to share this. If someone that's on, let's see here. I'm here, Julie. Yes, I'm here, I'm here. So I wanna say hello. I wanna say thank you so much for tuning in. If you missed yesterday, it's okay. If you RSVP to the Make Peace With Your Body event, no worries, you will be able to watch the replay. If you register at heathernevis.com, you will not only receive the replays, but also the free gifts that I'm sending you with a seven day body positive meditation series. So you get seven freaking meditations and my 31 day self acceptance calendar. And at the end of this, I'm putting something really special together for you as a surprise. Do you like surprises? I love surprises and it's actually really hard to surprise me. And so, you know, today I was very tired and I convinced myself, you know, I don't need to do my hair and my makeup because, you know, my private coaching community is called Authentic AF and I speak about being authentic AF on a regular basis. And so showing up with my glasses and no makeup on was really important to me today because, you know, showing up with the glass, I mean, with the hair and the makeup and the earrings and the fancy isn't necessary 24 seven. And so it feels really good to just show up as myself. I mean, yes, I did my hair the day before, but I want to say hi, Heather Nieves here. I'm a body positive mentor. I guide women on a journey to self-acceptance through meditation to embrace her body and show up authentic AF in her business because a lot of mompreneurs are coming to me. So that is the work that I get to do, but he begins with the self-acceptance work. So thank you for finding me, Julie. I was a couple minutes late. I was trying to share it out on my page and share it into the event, but Facebook made me change my password today and I couldn't remember it. So the perfect people are here. So thank you so very much for tuning in. I will share this replay into the event and on my personal page afterwards. So thank you so much for coming to hang out. And if you have a friend that RSVP to this and you know that she wants to see this, whether it's now or on the replay, please tag her below. Let me know where you're tuning in from and please comment along with me. That would mean the world to me so that I know you're here so that I'm not just talking to myself. Um, but are you ready to learn some belly love tips? Because I'm ready to share them with you. Did you enjoy day one? Would you like to share a takeaway from day one with me below, feel free to have a conversation with the other women that are on here or, you know, some men are trickling in, but I had so much fun talking with you about the body shaming culture. And I didn't even realize it was like a 33 minute video because I could just go and go and go. And there was even another part that I wanted to talk about getting comfortable with the word fat, but maybe I'll do another series after this. If you're enjoying um, if you're enjoying this, because there's an unlimited amount of, of things that I could talk about. And, you know, maybe next month I'll do, I'll go back to doing another meditation event. Um, but hi, thanks for hanging out, Teresa and Julie and Kathy. Um, are you ready to dive in? Are you ready to hear these body, these belly love tips? And, you know, I posted this morning, you know, about, especially if you're a mom, let me know below, give, just write mom below. Especially as a mom, I want to set an extremely important example 
for my son and any future children that we decide to have because we talked about it yesterday that it's we live in a world where self-hatred has become the norm, right? And I don't want my son to have to do all of the, the work in the 20s and the 30s and the 40s, undo all of the self-hatred that we're undoing now. So it's very important that, you know, I'm naked around my son. I let him touch my belly and it really makes me laugh. And it reminds me that my son is not judging me. And so if you have children, your children aren't judging you. My stomach is a toy to him. So if you're ready for some belly love tips, please comment below, write belly. Here's belly love tip number one. And by the way, I'm getting a lot of amazing insight from this book, Body Positive Power. I did put it in the event, make peace with your body. If you did not RSVP to that, please do so now so you can get all of the notifications about all of the incredible resources that I'm sharing with you during this event. So, hey, Cheryl, thanks for hopping on. So here's belly, li belly love tip number one. Give me a number one if you're excited. My belly was always my worst enemy. I hated it at every age, every size, and in every way you can hate something. I never thought that I could be happy without washboard abs, but it turns out I was wrong. These days, my soft, squishy stomach is one of my favorite physical features, and I'm going to teach you how to love your tummy too. No crunches required. Throughout this book, you'll find these belly love tips, which I'm going to share with you now. Practice them, write them on sticky notes, and put them around the house because it's time that you make peace with your beautiful belly. Okay, ladies? So here's the thing that you can begin with. Belly tip number one, touch. Change the way that you touch your tummy. No more pulling, poking, punching, or roughly squeezing. Like if you just tugged hard enough, it might come off in your hands. Stop. Stop treating your stomach like it isn't even part of you. It's a wonderful part of you. Yes, Julie. Try touching your belly gently. Try to feel its textures without a million thoughts about how it should feel clouding your mind. Imagine how inviting that softness is for a head to lie on or a hand to caress. How comforting, how uniquely you. Stop hurting yourself and start exploring your body in, with kindness instead. Isn't that beautiful? So these belly love tips, they're going to be simple. But if you continue to show up for yourself and practice these tips, you write them, you surround yourself with them. This act of getting comfortable being uncomfortable, this is going to become the new norm for you. Yes, Cheryl, a belly hug. So are you ready for belly love Tip number two, comment along. Give me number two below. Sit and watch. Save some time before you get dressed in the morning and find a space in front of your mirror. Sit, relax, breathe. Let your body fold. Instead of zooming in on the parts that you've been taught to see as flaws, take a minute to look at the shapes that your body makes. Look at your stomach. Does it flow like soft velvet? Does it roll like a breathtaking mountain landscape? Does it ripple like waves calmly brushing the sand? Keep, re keep reminding yourself of how beautiful those shapes are when they're found elsewhere in the world. Why should they be any less beautiful when they're found on your body? After all, you are a force of nature as well. Sit for a while and appreciate the landscape of your body. And I live in Southern California. Let me know below where you live. There are so many mountains and I get to admire them. And when you get up close, sometimes they're dead. Sometimes there's a lot of dead grass. Sometimes they're really bumpy and they're rigid and some are tall, some are short, some are fat, some are small. But what if you looked at your body in the same way that you look at the beauty of a mountain? Do you like that one? Yeah, so that one's number two. And yes, I am reading from this book. Hi, Angelica from Vegas. My friend Michelle lives in, in Vegas. Um, Michelle Nicole, she'll probably be hopping on here tonight or tomorrow. I'm reading from this book because you might not have, you may never buy this book. You might not, maybe you will. But a lot of times when we have something even in our own home until we hear it out of the mouth of someone else, for some reason, we don't apply it until we hear it from someone else. So, are you ready for belly tip number three? 
Roll with the goddesses. Do you remember history class where the goddesses with their belly rolls were honored? So listen to this. I want you to Google the crouching Aphrodite sculpture and I will post in the event that you RSVP to. I actually did a photo next to the crouching Aphrodite sculpture with my belly roll. So that made her the ultimate figure of female beauty. So go find her and all other artworks from times gone by that capture the wonder of a rippling midsection. Get postcards of them and stick them on your mirror. Better yet, create a whole gallery of belly love. Find all the pictures you can of tummies in all shapes and sizes and look at them often. The more beautiful rolling bellies you see, the less you'll see yours as a problem. And yes, it's amazing for us to go look at these, um, you know, sculptures of goddesses. But in the same way, I want you to take this to the next step and pay attention to who you're following on social media. If there are these super fit people in your life that even though you want to support and you take their tips and you know you enjoy their content but you are triggered by their body or their posts and follow them unfriend them do a little social media cleanup with who you're following and maybe it's a best friend maybe it's a, a relative no one is notified when they're unfollowed yeah so this is shorter than yesterday, but I have one more tip for you and I can actually stay on for some questions at the end if you'd like. So belly tip number four, stop hiding. Wear the clothes that you love and not just the ones that disguise the shape of your belly. When a camera comes out, don't try to twist and turn your body so that your tummy looks flat as possible, just let the world see you as you are. Catch yourself whenever you're sucking it in, take a deep breath, and just let it go. You don't need to be ashamed of having your belly on show. Remember that there's nothing wrong with the size or shape of your stomach, the only thing that's wrong is how you've been taught to see it. Yes, Stacia, that's one of my favorite things as well. And Michelle, I was just mentioning you. I'm so happy you're here. I did a rant about this recently where I'm buying clothes that fit my current body in the same way we know that manufacturers are not making for all different body types. They can't. It's, it doesn't, it's, it's not cost effective, right? So instead of getting pissed off at them, be patient with yourself. Let yourself have fun with the process. And... Just go find clothes that fit the body that you're in now. Don't worry about hiding your belly. How do, the, how do the clothes make you feel? You know, do you feel cute? Do you feel sexy? Don't worry about them being flattering. In my recent video, flat is in the word flattering. So if you don't look flat, then you, then you aren't accepted. No, that's unacceptable. So don't worry about looking flattering. Yes, find clothes for my body right now. So tonight, these four tips, you might think that's it, Heather. Yes, but they're not going to be helpful if you don't start to apply them. Because you see, this is all about perspective shifts. We're going to undo everything that we've been influenced to believe and start to reprogram what's acceptable. Because when these, you know, Greek goddesses during that time, that was acceptable. So no one was fat shaming their bellies, right? But we live in a fat phobic world right now. So we need to break the mold and know that fat is okay. And it's okay to let your belly show, whether it's underneath clothing or exposed. I'm seeing more and more women rock crop tops whether they have a flat tummy or not. And I freaking love that confidence. I love that confidence. And so, you know, if you're really struggling to hear all of this, stay tuned for the mirror work tomorrow because the mirror work is about looking in the physical mirror, but it's about tuning in. And maybe I'll turn it into a meditation tomorrow. I keep saying that. I actually just got, so I'm kind of like, 
in a daze right now. I just, my private coaching community, every Tuesday evening we do uh, meditation together. And then I do a group coaching session on Fridays. And then at least once or twice a month, we gather together for a video session. So it's just, I'm constantly supporting these women on a self-acceptance journey. And, um, I, I just did, I just did a, did a meditation with them. So that's why I'm a little kind of in la la land right now. But you know, if you're having a hard time even attempting these things, and if you're just so far deep into insecurities and self hatred, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. This is a lifetime of programming that we're undoing. So show up for the mirror work exercise tomorrow that I'm going to share with you. And begin meditating with me. If you haven't registered at heathernevis.com yet, you'll get all of these recordings so that you can watch them at any time because Facebook is starting to take videos down like without notice. So I'm going to put them on my private YouTube channel, send them to you directly with a special gift I'm putting together right now, as well as my 31 day self acceptance calendar, which it's, it's full of more meditations, yoga sessions, and just some incredible exercises to get you on the path of self-acceptance on a regular basis and my seven day body positive meditation series that I did last month. So if you have a question, if you enjoyed this comment below, please let me know. Let me know which tip was your favorite. I will also post the photo that I redid next to the Aphrodite goddess and tomorrow is the mirror work. And if you have been, following me or you're new to following me and you've been curious about what it's like to work with me, I am offering free coaching sessions for the rest of the week. So message me and I'll send you my calendar and um, the doors to my private coaching community open up on Monday next week. Um, Cause I only I have a small opening when I open up the doors because so we can focus together and it's a very intimate um, group of women, but I am on a mission to help women rise up and step into self-acceptance and show up authentic AF in their businesses without going into debt when they hire a coach, a mentor. So if you have been curious, then please reach out to me. I'd love to speak with you, offering you a free coaching session. We can do a meditation together. I can let you know what the details are about my private coaching community. And next month, we're actually going to be doing a intuitive eating, really understanding your emotional eating patterns and starting to break those down. Um, and I think it's actually a perfect time because we're going into a season where there's lots of food around. And then we have a lot of shame for gaining weight in the winter time and overeating because we're on this diet binge, diet binge cycle in our life. So it's a really beautiful program that's included. I've included my coaching programs in my private community. So I'm not just launching a program here and launching a program there. Whether you joined last month or this month or next month and you stay or not, you get access to these things. Plus, I'm constantly giving free gifts out. So I'm sorry that I didn't share it, Brenda. I'm glad you're here now. I will hop off so you can watch the replay. I was having technical issues with Facebook, so I couldn't share it. But thank you all for tuning in this evening. Tag a friend that you feel like could uh, benefit from these belly love tips. And I will see you tomorrow night. I'm so grateful you're all here. Let's just take a breath together. <sighs> now go and love your belly because you deserve it.